And I mean, seriously, like, I... First time we found it was by pure accident. Like, we turned a corner to try and find another street. It was like, quarter stitch. I saw a picture of yarn ball. Nitty Neal Sir said, yarn shop. And my husband went, only you would be able to sniff out a yarn shop in New Orleans. So, we went and... Um, the first two I'm going to show you are ones I bought then. And, um, I've only been back once before. Or no. I've been back three times. Yeah, I only bought one. I've bought one thing of yarn each time. And it's like my pilgrimage. Every time we go see my in-laws in Homa and we go into New Orleans for the day, um, I have to go to the quarter stitch. have to make my pilgrimage. So, the first one I found is this very lovely is that pretty and it's sparkles are coming through yay it's blue heron yarns let me open this up uh blue heron yarns colorway is deep copper it is a rayon metallic blend 550 yards and um yeah, you can, there's the company's website if you'd like to order your own. But um, I do have plans for this. I really do. Um, I'm either going to try to make this nice little uh, cardigan, very light, airy cardigan, or I'm going to try to make the, tri the Frankie Brown 10 stitch triangle shawl. Don't know yet. So there's that one. Then the next one I bought was this one. It's a nice chunky, it's very soft. It's a chenille. I, I think it's a chenille. See the tag. Um, this one, okay, the only tag I have for it, it's actually is the quarter stitch tag and I think it it's dyed for the shop and the colorway is Portland. And it says on here approximately 340 yards. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to make with this one either. <laughs> don't you love it? But um, yeah, it's very soft and it's very squishy. So yeah. And the last one, the last time I was there, I bought this little thing. Isn't it cute? The colors are just brilliant and deep. The little uh, tag says, uh, it's a dream, dream and color yarn. The, yeah, the name of the brand is dream and color yarn.com classy with cashmere. It is a 70% superwash merino, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon, it's four ounces in the Kiss Me Kate colorway. And uh, yeah, hand dyed in the USA. Um, I was just kind of drawn to the color. Sometimes I'm drawn to the names, other times I'm drawn to the colors. And um, I kind of like that one because this may spark some out some arguments, but I actually love the Taming of, of the Shrew, specifically Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton version. And um, I got into a uh, a, uh, a discussion with one of the English professors I work with about, you know, he was saying how Taming of the Shrew was very anti-woman and all that. And I'm like, well, how about, what about this person? I'm not going to get into it, but... I don't know, I always liked Taming of the Shrew. Maybe just because it's the chemistry of those two. It just worked. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah. That's what I've got to show you today. And I hope you liked seeing my fancy yarn collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing my scrappy wrap. That, fingers crossed, I will have it done in time to submit it to Jilly's Weasley family knit along. I've actually never participated in a knit along and um, wasn't actively trying to participate in this knit along. I just happened to start this and see it and go, hey, I might be able to participate. 
Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. And I should have said this at the beginning, but if you are one of my 111 subscribers and you are watching, thank you very much for coming back. If you are a new viewer and this is your first time, hi, and thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I kind of feel silly asking people to do that. Um, and if you'd like to see more videos and don't want to miss out on them on any future videos, please hit the subscribe button up top and check out all the links below in the description uh, box below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll see everybody next week.